I hope future me titled this video, Some Good News for the Mandalorian Season 3, but also some really bad news. <laughs> Don't get too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. So by now you've probably heard that Gina, the actress for Cara Dune in The Mandalorian, has been fired by Lucasfilm following tweets that a lot of people didn't seem uh, to like very much. Lucasfilm has stated there are no plans for her to come back, and in fact, here is their official statement on the firing of Gina Carano. Gina Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilm and there are no plans for her to be in the future. Nevertheless, her social media posts denigrating people based on their cultural and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. Just to be brutally honest for a hot second, I don't understand how people by now do not understand if you work under Disney, you do not do anything to badmouth the company, badmouth anything else or make them look bad in any way or they will destroy you the mouse will grab you by the throat look into your eyes as the light goes out you don't piss off the mouse and sources say that disney was looking to fire gina who was making between 25 and 50k per episode for two months and that she had been warned multiple times about her social media behavior in fact she was originally in the presentation for rangers of the new republic but they took her out of it last minute Interestingly, some insiders are saying that they do plan on recasting Gina, but Lucasfilm has said, no, 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 we're not going to do that, which I don't think it necessarily needs to happen. But this is my opinion and this is my perspective, so I understand you perhaps see it differently. There's not a lot of good representation, and I know representation triggers some people, of bodybuilder, stronger built women in good roles. You don't get a lot of badass women that look like badasses. They usually look like uh, little twigs, which is fine if you're a twig. I'm not coming at you for that. That's that's amazing. I just don't want to see a 95 pound woman going toe to toe with a 220 pound muscle man and she's knocking him the fuck out. No. I want to see a woman built like a goddamn tank that could just rip me in half. Just fuck up my day. So I kind of hope they get more just tank women in the Mandalorian season three. I know they're gonna focus more on Bo and friends and I think we're going to see more Banff Mandalorians. So maybe in the future, we are gonna get just some absolutely ripped women. I don't know if that's my kink, so I'm sorry if this is coming across as weird. Cause it's just not women. I, I'm, I'm down for some Banff dudes as well, just fucking up people's days. And if you're not gonna have a totally just ripped woman don't have her trading blows with someone that has a lot more mass and muscle than her because no have her specialize in using weapons or she has her jetpack and she's flying around or you know she's intelligent it's okay we don't need to diminish other people just to do girl power which I, I'm, I'm totally for I'm a woman girl power is well sometimes comes across really fucking stupid but you know you get my point uh, if it's for the benefit of women, it, it benefits me, you know? So I, I'm not anti-women. I love women. I love men. I, I love humans in general. Crazy little humans constantly doing genocide. So silly. Now, I don't know how you feel about Gina being fired. This news is about a week old at this point, so you can let me know if you are furious, if you understand, if you liked her tweets, if you didn't like her tweets, if you think she was more so joking. Everybody's different. Everyone's coming at this from a different perspective. Now, I just want to sprinkle in some more bad news because uh, I'm just a raging cunt. Pedro Pascal has blown up in the past few years, which is not the bad news. I'm really happy for the guy. He seems so, so nice. And he's super hot. I'm not saying being super hot means you should be successful, but you know, he's, he's nice to look at, okay? Don't come at me. Recently, he was cast as Joel in The Last of Us, and with signing on for the role, his contract is being reported to have first position clause, which means if there is a scheduling conflict between The Last of Us filming and the filming of The Mandalorian season three, The Last of Us wins out. Which honestly, I just think is a bad fucking idea. I don't know why Disney okayed this. The Mandalorian is so hot right now. I'm not saying The Last of Us isn't going to be a smash hit. Tons of people love the video games, but, well, video game. Um, I just, 
why, dude? So basically what we're going to see is more of season one where Pedro's stunt double is in the Mandalorian armor, is filming most of the scenes, and then Pedro somewhere else does the voiceovers. Then maybe he pops in for one helmet off scene, which I thought they were gonna do more of in season three once he realized, oh, the Mandalorians I'm part of were zealots. I don't need to keep my helmet on, but I guess we're just gonna walk that back so Pedro can go get murdered by an angry woman. <laughs> But you know, let's let's go on to some super awesome, exciting news. Exciting for me, I don't know if it's gonna be exciting for you. The writer for Battlefront 2 and Star Wars Squadron said that Iden does have many stories to tell during the time of the Mandalorian. So that means we could see Iden in maybe season three or four or five and yes, yes. Please. Lastly, before we move on to the Ryan Johnson news, which I know is going to upset, I, I don't know, maybe a couple of you. Ray Park has been posting a lot of himself in his mall prosthetics and from filming such as with Solo, so it seems like he's trying to get hyped back up for his character. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to be seeing more live action mall in the future. All right, let's move on to Ryan Johnson. <laughs> because I... I know that's gonna get me screamed at in the comment section. Sarah Wilson, who is a USA Today best-selling author and semi-good wife, uh, according to her, has confirmed after an interview with Ryan Johnson, yeah, his trilogy's still happening. So this is what she said. I'm just going to post this now because I can see that I'm going to get a lot of requests. Yes, Ryan's Star Wars trilogy is still on. No dates or timelines because he has other projects going on, but it is happening. That is all I know about it. There's so much controversy around The Last Jedi and Ryan Johnson. I kind of feel like Lucasfilm is tagging him along so they don't feel like the mob won, although they seem to let the mob win a lot. And then he's just never, I, it's gonna be 2050 and we're still going to be hearing Ryan's trilogy is happening, which I think is stupid at this point to even give him a trilogy. Movie-wise, if you're gonna do anything, give them a live-action Disney Plus Star Wars show. That seems to be the hot thing right now and what they're pushing towards. I just don't think a Ryan Johnson Star Wars trilogy fits in at this point, especially with the people they have already set to direct Star Wars movies. But that's my opinion. Maybe you are just chomping at the bit for a Ryan Johnson Star Wars trilogy. And if you are, let me know in the comment section down below. Be aware there are some people that don't have favorable views of Ryan and they might try to slit your throat in the comment section. So just be aware. <laughs> I respect your opinion. Other people may not. And they'll let you know. Lastly, Ryan Johnson did confirm to her that yes, Kylo and Rey in The Last Jedi were meant to be romantic. I feel like that was pretty obvious to a lot of people, but then a lot of people were denying that in The Last Jedi, that there was no intimacy or romance between them. So to have Ryan Johnson clear it up and go, yeah, that's what I was going for, romance, intimacy, is, is kind of nice to get those people to go, oh. Because then they can just make the argument, which is valid. I didn't see it that way. So he failed at that, which is fine. But I definitely got they want to fuck vibes from that episode. <sighs> All right, long live the Empire. Like, subscribe, come back for more videos. Or don't. Rubble scum. Thanks so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe for more Star Wars videos.